Welcome back to In Photoshop One. After you have edited your images in Photoshop, finalized your drawings in Illustrator, and spell checked your body text in Word, you are ready to lay out your publication in InDesign. A beautiful feature that InDesign offers is the ability to link your placed files. This will allow us to live edit these files. To do so, Go to your Links panel and right click on the object you would like to edit. Select Edit and the program you would like to use to edit. I will adjust the levels of my photo and place a black box over the person in my photo. One could use Content Aware Fill to omit this person. For more information on Content Aware Fill, please follow the link to my other video. Now we can save this photo with the same file name. When saving the file, Photoshop will automatically insert copy into your file name. Be sure to omit this and save with the exact same name. I will hit OK and replace. When we return to InDesign, the photo has updated automatically. If the photo had not done so, you could go to the bottom of your links panel and click Update Links. You could also use Illustrator to edit your linked object. I will be getting rid of the logo's white background. To get rid of this white area, I will use a clipping mask with my shortcut Command 7. Now I will have to save this file as a PNG to eliminate the background pixels. This means changing the file name. When I return to InDesign, I will right click my link, select Relink and select the PNG file. Now any changes I make to my PNG file will be automatically updated. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.